Right now we've got on the phone Pete Williams, our justice correspondent here at NBC News to talk more about the president's nominee just announced on Twitter by the president himself to be the next FBI director. His name is Christopher Wray. Pete, good morning. What more can you tell us about him? Well, Willie, he was among the younger people that the president was looking at as a potential FBI director. He's 50 years old, and he has prosecutorial experience. He, during the uh, George W. Bush administration, from 2003 to 2005, he was a uh, top Justice Department official. He was uh, the assistant attorney general in charge of the criminal division, and that's, of course, basically what the FBI does. He's been since in private practice in Atlanta, uh, he joined the U.S. Attorney's Office there uh, at one point in his career and then came to Washington to the Justice Department in a number of uh, senior capacities. Now he's back at the law firm of King and Spaulding. Uh, he represented Chris Christie during the Bridgegate investigation, and interestingly, in 2015, he was among former Justice Department officials who co-signed a letter in support of the nomination of Sally Yates for Deputy Attorney General. That was during the Obama administration, obviously before uh, she got crosswise with the president and he fired her. Uh, so he's somebody who will come to the job with uh, prosecutorial experience both at the Washington level in the Justice Department and down at the street level as a U.S. attorney in Atlanta. Pete, what's been the initial reaction in justice circles to this choice? Do uh, you think it's a good one? It's a little early <laughs> to, to, to gauge the reaction, but I will tell you, having talked to people in justice uh, and at the FBI before the president made his choice known, that they were looking for somebody who had prosecutorial experience, who knew what the FBI does, and of course U.S. attorneys work closely with the FBI in developing criminal cases. So they wanted somebody who had that kind of experience, somebody who knew how Washington worked, uh, they, they, while they had a, a great deal of respect, for example, for uh, some of the president's possible nominees, including Joe Lieberman, uh, they, 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 they hoped that wouldn't be the case simply because uh, Joe Lieberman never had any criminal justice experience at all. He was the attorney general of Connecticut, but that's a position that's strictly civil. So I think they'll be relatively pleased by this because they wanted somebody who knew what they were about. Pete, Sam Stein here. Uh, two questions. One is, how relieved are they that a politician is not in this position? It's not just Joe Lieberman who was uh, floated for the post, but John Cornyn as well. And two, from your reporting, how difficult was this position to fill? Uh, you know, James Comey was just fired by the president. Uh, we've seen contemporaneous reporting that he's having trouble filling out key posts. Presumably, FBI director was one of those posts that he was having trouble filling out. Well, you know, he's not the first one that's had trouble filling the FBI director yeah. position. Uh, James Comey uh, had to be persuaded repeatedly to take the job because when uh, Bob Mueller's uh, 10 years first ran out, uh, that's when they first approached uh, James, Co James Comey to take it, and he declined. Uh, so it wasn't until two years later, after they extended Bob Mueller's term, that Comey finally said yes. Uh, it's a 10-year hitch. I think that's one thing. It's, it's one thing to serve for four years in an administration, but it's nominally, it's supposed to be, that is, a 10-year commitment. Uh, so that's one thing that I think causes some people to pause. And then the second thing is they're not taking it under the, the best of all possibilities. Uh, so, and, and there were a number of people who were talked to and, and took themselves out of the race, uh, out of the uh, potential consideration. So it wasn't the easiest thing to do, but it, 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 has, it has tended not to be. It's, you know, it's a pretty serious decision to do this. Sure. All right. NBC News Justice Correspondent Pete Williams on the phone with us on the breaking news that President Trump will nominate Christopher Wray as the new director of the FBI. Pete, thanks so much as always. We appreciate it. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.